Welcome back to Gaming with Pants. And today I got something a little bit different. It's uh, something I've been thinking about doing for a while. It's called On the Couch. And it's where just uh, me and some friends, we sit on the couch and somebody plays a game. And uh, we just talk about, you know, gaming and our thoughts on certain games, types of games we like to play. Um, just kind of BSing, basically. Uh, this is the first one. Um, I think it went pretty well. Uh, Skillets didn't listen to me when I told him to turn down the game volume, but uh, it is uh, listenable. So next time we'll get that uh, that uh, sound level corrected. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and here you go. Okay, so we're recording now. Yep. Yay! So why'd you why why'd you guys pick Titanfall 2? Out of all the games that we have, why'd you guys pick Titanfall 2? I don't know, because it's a game I'm actually good at. It's a game you're actually good at. So so skillets you're gonna play you're gonna play first? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Alright, so, so we um, have we have me, skillets, we have Dragon Flare and then Pants. Yep, yep. Uh, three YouTubers sitting on a couch. Playing a game, uh, just talking and enjoying. In a, in a series called On the Couch. You know, you want to go into the settings? I, I'm just, I'm just going to like... On the game? Game settings? Go on the game settings and turn the game volume down? Is this really loud? Yeah, it's really loud. The it, game... It is, I can barely hear it. The game, the game volume is really loud. Okay, well, fine. I turned it down there, but I'm, I don't know on, uh, how it's going to be on the recording. So, you guys all know I've played this game on my YouTube channel. Which, whenever I'm recording, I always get this map. What is it with this map? Is it like... Well, I think this uh, this is one of the just some of more popular maps. Yeah, I get this map all the time. Well, I hardly get any, any real... Uh, different maps when I do play. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, just stand up there and get punched in the face. Get wrecked! Oh my god! Uh, but yeah, I, I... I I don't have any of the DLCs, so... Oh god, that's scary! I don't know if there's a bunch more maps that make the game better. It's not all the games that the DLC to enjoy them, so... That is true, that is true. Yeah, you don't really need Good, just it's just the game. straight up the game. You know? It's a solid game. The graphics are good. The controls are really solid. That's what I've always liked about uh, Titanfall. Is the uh, just the, the control, uh, how smooth the controls are. It's very. It's also very like default. Like I'm very used to the controls. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, it's, it's not like Tom Clancy Vegas, where you. Freaking press the uh, the right oh, analog but stick the, down to freaking aim. Oh, but Vegas has Vegas. some of the best, if not the best, first person uh, well, that is what duck and cover system. There's no really good first person good duck and cover system. GTS is probably pretty good, one, but you're not doing it that much since, well, it's not really, you know, only combat. Yeah, yeah. But Vegas, like, it's, it was a really good game. They, they did tournaments. That was one of the, the early games that uh, really kind of took the eSports. And uh, it was a challenging game. The controls were difficult, but they were smooth. They were, once you got used to them, I mean, you were either good at the game or bad at the game. But once you got used to the controls, that game was a fun game to play. People still play uh, New Vegas too. Dude in the chat, he needs to watch his profanity because I'm a family-friendly Christian YouTuber, even though I say frick and crap. And I, I, we can't hear. We can't hear the, the chat. Yeah. So, uh, we can't. But, but yeah, I'm I'm so Christian. Your kids watch me, um, um, I'm just, I'm just like the best, most family friendly, um, anyway, I, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, um, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not really the new the new Vegas the new Vegas games, or the not new Vegas New Vegas was uh, uh, the Fallout series, which yeah. Fallout series is pretty good. I did not like Fallout Four. I don't know what your guys. Fallout think. Four. Okay, uh, like I like the idea of you know you can build a civilization, but I feel like they could have made it much better. Like I feel they kind of forced it on you. Too. Like, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want. I didn't really want to do it. Either. Like, I was like, okay, here, I just build a church, you know, and then I'm like, well, 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 I have to do all these missions before I can actually do the story. Well, what made me mad is uh, all up. There was this one town that you could go to, and everybody there, they were killing people, uh, thinking that they were synths. And then there was a doctor that was working with him. I can't remember the entire story arc of it. But, uh, well, there's. I don't know why you go there. I don't remember. But anyway, so I ended up making them all mad by uh, finding out their secret. And so I killed them all. They attacked me when I came back, so I killed all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I, I killed everybody in this town. And the town was awesome. It had great walls and a shop, and there was a bunch of beds. So I put a beacon to have people much. come and pace. live there. And even though everybody was dead in the town, if I picked anything up, it was considered stealing. Nobody could sleep in any of the beds because they were owned. And it's like, come on, man. Everybody's dead. I know because I killed them. They're all piled out in front of the town. I never, I never said I was a Christian family friendly game. <laughs> and you should Daisy really video. not. Yeah, I'm, I'm so family friendly, you know, just uh, walking up near people and punching them in the face and saying hi. Well, you should really I'm, just drop that. I'm, 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 so, I'm so very family friendly. Yes, you know, uh, like, Skyrim. Most family friendly. Just, you know, so you know the old house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, those are split, so I built, like, this big mansion. I had this little box with, like, all I could really get stuff. And it said I was stealing. I was like, okay, it's just a glitch. So I picked it up and all the cup all the of my guards came into my house. So I attack it. Pilot, that's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Skyrim. Skyrim was a glitch game. Even even their DLCs were glitch. <laughs> and they never fixed they never fixed the DLC. No, they they just remastered it. They just uh they made the graphics look better. Uh, oh my okay. that they did add the mods, then they added the, uh, that, the that is... mods that you could buy. Oh, yeah. Uh, which uh, apparently a lot of the modders are really mad about that, basically saying that that's just sticking their fingers uh, in where it should belong. You know, I mean, mods are mods. You know? Yeah, it's up to the community to make the Well, yeah. Were but... they made by? Bethesda? No, uh, what, what Bethesda did was they, they actually released a mod kit, so it was a way to make mods. Oh, you had to buy it? No, they released the kit. The kit was free, so you, you just download this kit and you can make mods. And then those mods, they would take and put in the, uh, the store, so they knew that it worked with the game, um, and buy it. Well, the thing was, was, you know, they were paying the modders part of the money, but they were keeping part of the money. So basically, they're taking money from... Yeah, and a lot of the modders, they don't do it for the money. They do it because they enjoy doing it. They do it because they want this this in the game. Like, why wasn't this in the game? I can, I can put this in the game. So they would go and they would make it. That's what I like about mods. Like... One of the biggest uh, games of mods is Minecraft, and it's like, like it makes the, the, game the more TNT mod stuff like that. Time, it's like, it's like, yeah, time. people make TNT things added in the game. Yeah, like you, like can... you have to have some certain skills to break it, but sure, you can just like go clickety clack, you know, and make it. Yeah, the mods are pretty much like you don't really have to be like. We have to have some skills. They got it. I mean, could, could you mod? I mean, I, I know nothing. I can play mod with people. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to make it. Just, like, the game. 
if I tried, you know, like, um, there is a huge amount of skill with modding, a huge amount of skill. Even the people that can just go into the code of a game and find out secrets and stuff that, that haven't been released yet, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, like the game files. Yeah, I mean, I don't play on, uh, I don't play on PC, I, I play on console. You know, you guys play on console. I mean, you both also kind of dabble in PC games, but... Ooh! Ooh! Oh. Um, but what I really like about Marty is, like, like what, um, what Skilt said, like, if, like, if you don't, like, if there's something that you don't, like, want, like, want in a game, you can get it. Yeah, you can create it. Yeah. And it, it adds more to the game. Like, let's say you're playing Fallout and you beat the game and you're bored, but you still like the game. You just get some mods, but. I just got us killed. All with the mods for uh, Fallout is a lot of the uh, modders, they use um, the DLCs. Like the Nuka Cola uh, one. Like, but the oh, only the way Nuka, to use Nuka, it, Nuka World? Or yeah. Whatever it was, yeah. But the only way to use the mods is if you get the DLC, so, in a way, it costs money. Well, that's the thing that I don't understand is, the mods are only causing people to continue to play your game. So why are you against people playing your game? And that's, uh, you guys, you know, you know, Witcher 3, right? They actually are promoting a mod that was created, and they're promoting it on their Facebook, on their webpage. They're like, this mod is awesome. These people that did this are awesome. You need to go, and you know, if you're playing Witcher 3 on the on uh, PC, you need to go and get this DLC or this uh, this mod. That these people to me, that's awesome. Yeah. Our folks, uh, they're elders, like because uh, if there's like mod mod is also really big in like Ark. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like uh, they promote it, but modding is huge on any game that's on. They like so some like some like story just like left behind. But everyone kinda gets a chance after they get the like, they make a mod, everyone kinda has a chance. Because there's like the genres you can go to like um, what is it? Like you can go like the most like trending, the like the newest ones. And you can show like, you can, like, try out people's new ones to make them popular. Yeah, well that's what YouTube YouTube's huge for uh showcasing uh, new games. I mean, this YouTube why, channel is dedicated to it. Yeah, I mean, why would you not want a YouTuber to play your game and get some hype out on your game? Why, and if you are a modder and you created a mod and people are playing your game and Hi, maybe hiding. somebody Here. didn't buy your game but now there's this mod out and yeah, it's awesome here. and so now they, they're going to go and buy your game. I don't see why uh, mods that so all the mods you download they're free but the modders they make money because um wildcard games or wildcard studios they know that they're making the game more popular like you said and yeah. so they're giving they're giving them like i don't think it's a lot of money but like it's something well i mean it's gonna get people to buy your game yeah it's gonna make it or just have more play time more hours and so I, w I, I would like to see on console Just got a monarch. nice all the upgrades yep get all those all them upgrades I like them upgrades but yeah I mean I would like to see more games releasing mods on console I because I like so Daisy it came out it was garbage a, game. Yeah, but I want garbage more, game. But I want more survival games like that, that aren't so like buggy, to come out. Because if there's something to do, <laughs> if there's something to do in the game. Like go back, watch my video again. Like if there's something to do in the game, I'll play it. 
I just ran until I died of thirst. Yeah, you can't... I mean, there I didn't see anything. Every house was ransacked. Well, DayZ, so it was, you know, made to be like a single player survival, but they made it online, and um, actually a lot of the time, what people do is they do like role-playing, which I, I, I don't know how, but that like, you, you get more encounters. But you're still, you're gonna, you're gonna have about... 38 to 45 minutes before well, you die of hunger or thirst. On computer, they, they can modify that. That's that's what they do. They, they make all that, I think, I think they make it less. They make, like, guns and stuff spawn more. So There they, was nothing. I found not, I found some clothes. But, no, no, because they make their own, they make, people make their own servers on computer, because you can do that. I think, so you're not playing the game anymore, you're playing a mod. Yeah, actually, kind of. Like, it's a modified... So the go the game is so bad <laughs> that you can't play it without playing it with a mod. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, Bo Bohemian... Oh, I like that. Actually. I like that tiger stripe. Orange and green tiger stripe. Looks Where, sick. Um... Oh, the one that you had on there. That one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. No, Gup one? Yeah. Or is it... That one. That, yeah, that Whatever one. that is. It looks like tiger stripe, kind of. To me, I, I think like a roadblock. Yeah, yeah, so, kind of, yeah. Am I going to play again, Safety. or someone else going to play? I don't really care. Uh, I don't care. You can uh, play again. Okay, so Skills is going to play again. I think he's probably the best out of the three of us anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty bad. The only game I've been playing for a month now is just Destiny, so... So oh. any games, any games coming out that you guys are excited about? Uh, I mean, new Skyrim, Red Seventy Six, Red Dead Two. I, Red Dead Redemption. I don't know. I'm excited for the new Smash Bros. Oh, player. on the definitely on the Switch. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know a lot of people. Everyone like that. is here. That's probably the best game coming out on the Switch. Yeah. I the mean, they got a lot of old games yeah, like it, like Diablo Three, and they, they're acting wait, like it, they're acting like yeah. it's a big deal. They're getting ready to release it, or did they already release it? Uh, no, they they announced it in a Nintendo Direct. Yeah, so that's coming ago. out soon. It but seems I mean, like it's, a game that fit though. And it also, would fit, but I mean, it's an old game. Like, the first and Dark excited. Souls. For yep, very the very first the Dark first Dark Souls, Souls not remastered. The second, yeah, not the second or third one. Just I mean, the normal one. I mean, the thing the thing about the Switch, though, it, is the Switch is awesome because you can take it anywhere. Yeah. Like, you can just pack it up and take it anywhere. And I think the Dark Souls trilogy would be an awesome one to have on the Switch to be able to take yeah. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Also, like, Doom. Doom. Oh, Doom was a good one. Oh, yeah. me and my yeah. friend, we were camping. And have like, you got Doom on it yet? No, because there's, like, some parental control or some crap where uh, I can't get over T for teen games. Wait, really? Because it's like, oh, you have to be 13 or older to play these games. And I'm like, oh. uh, that's why. That's why I skipped your That's why I skipped your age stuff on the Xbox. Yeah. I, I mean, put it to 99. You, you, you were like 8, and it wouldn't even <laughs> let you play Peggle with the parental controls. I know. It's like, like oh, you're 8 years old. You can't play Peggle. It, it's so, you can't, it's what? so gory. It's yeah. like, you're, you're shooting asking, a ball at balls. If that's if so mean. Too much if, you're blood. Asking, yeah. if you're asking a soldier... He's just going to be like, okay, pilot. Yes, that's Let's war. Get this job that's done. what war is. It never Wait, changes. Did I hear the word word shooting? Yeah, you're even dropping a ball on the ball. It's so terrible. I mean, come on, it's Pagel. Everybody yeah. plays Pagel. That game is fun. That game is fun. I do, I do love Pagel. I do love Pagel. I like, I like that sometimes when I'm really tired after a long day. You know, you just turn on Pagel. Here the screen on the balls. Speed the game again. Yeah. I've beaten the first one. I've never played the second one. Oh, uh, we have, I have the second one uh, if you want to try it out. <laughs> Is this for you, alien dinosaur? Oh, there's the weird aliens in this one. Where yeah. The first campaign. One, yeah. yeah, this is an area from the campaign. I would know about it. I don't know Remember when I got stuck in the ceiling up there? When I ejected out of my Titan? Oh, yeah. There was that weird little hole, and I got up, up, up above the ceiling. Yeah, I ejected out, and somehow it like what I got through mean? the little hole, and I was stuck up in the ceiling. And so Skillet's he's just laughing at me the entire time because I'm stuck. I can't shoot anybody. I can't kill myself. I'm just stuck up there for the entire match. I'm just stuck. And it was like right at the beginning, so I had to just wait, you know, the 10, 15 minutes for the match to finish. Did you get like up? No, I killed like two people. Oh, 
Wait, could you see? Yeah, I could see through the floor. I'm just like, you like but a I'm camera. inside. A weaponized camera? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't shoot down. I couldn't oh, shoot wait. through the floor. You should yeah. just kept shooting. I was just shooting the floor. No, no, that's right. Another Titan went in there and uh, self destructed and killed me, I think. That was how I finally got out of there. Wait, but if, it was you, terrible. if you self destruct and you kill somebody, does that count as a kill for you? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, nuclear injection. Well, you know, the cross out that I play, yeah. you can self destruct your car in that, and if you uh, kill somebody when you self destruct your car, it counts as a kill for you also. Oh, yeah. oh look at that new. Look at that noob. Oh. Suck it, noob. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I highly doubt. That, that, that would be a good, a good I mean, what? I got 18 me. subscribers. In the comments. Skill has 13. How many people are on Earth? You know, yeah, like. If, our 30 plus if that the first subscribers is not gonna. That I killed, if he was a. If you are a viewer. Wow, and then he's just gonna, to he's gonna go at him. Like, That's he's gonna go at him, you know? <laughs> instead of, like, oh, instead, of, instead of, oh, like, oh, sorry, bro, sorry well, yeah. I killed you. He's gonna yeah. go at him, he's gonna go at him. Yes! That's full blood, man, it's full blood. Oh, Double two, kill. two, two, two! Suck kill. it, noobs! <laughs> Get good, scrubs! Not everybody gets as good as this game. Right, when it, you say it that. always happens, okay? <laughs> it always happens. When I drop my Titan, then I'm rushing to it, I always die then. His name was Dragon Toenail. Dragon Toenail? Dragon. Wouldn't that be a talent? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a Dragon Talent? Maybe he has a right. intro toenail. <laughs> Idiot! Oh, you're getting shot! You're getting shot, boy! No, really, I had no no, but I mean, it was showing the bullets bounce off your dude. So apparently, your type is protecting you even more than you thought. Force field. No. Off fingers are a force field. See, I like games that are futuristic like this, but. Not overly futuristic? Yeah, like, uh. Oh, nice. Um, Infinite Warfare? I don't like that game. Like, uh. Destiny, that's like insanely futuristic, but. But they did it well. It's yeah. well done, yeah. It's like the well done game. Yeah, I don't like the ones that like, like the Call of Duty, I like Call of Duty's when they have to. So what are you guys, what are your guys' thoughts on the Black Ops 4? I think it looks okay, I think I'm going to be the map boy. I like the fact that you can't double jump in full run. <laughs> oh, you can? No, no they got rid of all that. Yeah, they broke it back down. Fast -paced. Yeah, they broke it back down. Because, well, the reason they started doing that was because of the Titanfall, the original Titanfall. Yeah. That wasn't a thing until the original Titanfall came out. And then you had this smooth running game with these new ways of playing. But to me, Black Ops 3 is like running hey. like, to me it's gonna be Like I feel like I can feel the way like completely bad. Hey, I got a kill! Yeah. <laughs> you got a kill. Nice. Nice. And didn't get stuck in it. I think with Black Ops 3, it was meant to be that way, like that, that feeling, because you are in like this power suit, like so it kind of made sense. I didn't like it, but I didn't like Black Ops 2. Oh, no, Black Ops 1, that was one of the best uh, games that they've done. Uh, the new one. World War II, which is funny that they call it World War II because they've done a ton of World War II games. Um, you say World War II remastered, but it's a different storyline. Yeah, different storyline, different graphics, uh, yeah. but it's the same game we've made a hundred times. No, no, they just say, it should just be Call of Duty, World War II, different story. Well, Battlefield 4, there's Battlefield 1, but Battlefield 4 still. A popular game, like you can go into like a match with like sixty other players still. Yeah, but I mean, did you play it when it first came out? Yeah, you did. You did. You did yeah. here. You did here. Yeah. And all you guys did was play the practice and play the jet. I tried to land a jet over and over. Yeah, and that was that's not it's not happening. <laughs> what happened? Landing the jet in uh, uh, Battlefield Four. Well, now you know the game's oh, only ten dollars, yeah. right? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I have it. I, I still have it. Yeah. I, I play it on my PS4. It was I so want broken, to though. Back to that. I want to go back and try to land that jump. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. I mean, I can especially with like our We, can, we can do it. We can do that. I mean, it's three hour yeah. long. Yeah. We could, we could be the next laser beam. We could do another one of these. We could do another one of these. Yeah, try to land this jet. See who can land the jet first. What are Whoever lands the jet first, they get the Mountain Dew. Everybody else has to drink blood water. I mean, come on. Pure sewage. Yeah, here's some, here's no, some chili juice. No, everybody else has to drink yeah. jet. I got your chili juice still in the... In the, in the no, I think the like winner... Marcy. I think the winner gets to get chili juice. The winner gets chili juice? Oh, yeah, yeah. because then they can regrow their arms. Maybe some dignity. Get them. <laughs> yeah, they can regrow their arms. Right. Actually, you see. Yeah, you're just hiding up there. You know, 
Oh, I'm running. Anyway, so they, were, they made the gun Zerker in the second one, and, and they they said straight up before the game came out, they were like, okay, we understand the gun Zerker is broken, he's overpowered, we don't care because it's fun. And I was, I was like, okay, this is awesome. Well, then later... Wait, the funny thing is... Here's what happened. So there was a combo that you could get uh, a, a shotgun. It's called the Thompson Assault. So you could have one in each hand. And the way that it shot, it hit everything on the screen. It just did ridiculous amounts of damage. Well, then you got a, a shield that was called the Beat. Now, as long as you weren't hurt, as long as you didn't get hit, your shield was down at all, you did, like, it multiplied your damage. I can't remember how exactly. Well, there was a monster in the game that you were supposed to have to have four people to fight. Mm -hmm. But you could solo it with the Gunzerker, with the B, with the conference call, <laughs> in like 30 seconds. Oh, but see, so, wow. well, no. So people were complaining about it, but they weren't complaining because people were coming into their games and doing it. They were complaining because they saw somebody on YouTube do it. Oh, and showed everybody? No, they were mad because... This was supposed to be a, a boss fight. You were supposed to have to have four people. If you weren't a gun zerker and you didn't, you didn't go farm up. I mean, you had to farm up those weapons. I mean, it was hours and hours of farming up this these weapons and the shield. They were mad because you could beat this boss by yourself in like thirty seconds. Yeah, it's it, to be only thirty. Boss. It was the final boss. No, no, the 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 regular game was way easier than these bosses. They, they were like hidden bosses that you got better loot and stuff out of. Mm. See, the thing about, like, so, you know, like, you know how that's, like, it's kind of a single player game. Like, it's not like this, like, it's player versus player, PvP. Yeah, you know, well, PvE. they, they, the, with Borderlands 2, they really forced the issue sure. of making you play with other people. It yeah. It really kind of broke, it broke the, the feel of the game. It kind of ruined it. And then they came out with the third one. And it was better, but... But I don't really care if things What's are overpowered like that. What's the one again? That's the one where you're on the... the it's the pre-sequel. Yeah, the oh. uh, pre-sequel. Um, yeah. But I don't care about, like, PvE <coughs> games where Excuse something's me. overpowered. I care about when it's PvP. And you're... For some, it just always aggravates me when someone's using this gun that's like... Like, they're using a Scorpion Evo and I'm using a... A DMR. Like, it's, it's not fair to use, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, there are broken guns in, in PvP games. Mm -hmm. uh, back to uh, Black Ops 1, there was the uh, oh. AK-74U. That one was... And then nice. you put the uh, the burst fire... And laser sight. And you just you could kill anybody before they could even get like a shot at you. Yeah. There's one gun in Fortnite that they had to remove in the first day. The Zapatron. The it's uh it's called the Zapatron. You could only get it out of supply drops, but it's a sniper and you charged it up. And it was pretty much the hunting rifle, the but aim. you charged it up enough, and then whatever distance and wherever you hit them, uh it would one shot anybody. So all you had to do was get that one gun. And... It would do five hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's it's too broken. Like yeah, those, those kind but, of so things. So they had broken. to remove it in the first like. I don't even think it was out for a day until it was released. It was, no, it was out uh, for two days, actually. It will, It was out for, like, I think... But that's PvP, though. That's, like, that's not a single-player game, yeah. and they're modding it yeah. because of, you know, to whatever... To me, like, picking, like, uh, the Gunzerker, to me, it feels like pressing easy. The Gunzerker? Yeah. Uh, no, good. because, I actually, he didn't have, really, a lot of good skills... That could keep you alive. Was he like slow, like slow to get to? No, um. The other classes were actually better for soloing. Uh, unless you, like, he wasn't broken until you got those items. Oh, so he was balanced, and then right when you got those. Items. When you got those items, he was broken. Because. You're doing twice the damage immediately because you're shooting both the conference shotguns. That's and then you have the B, which is 
buffing both the Clover Skull and like it was like it, somehow it um, multiplied it. Well, it it increased the damage of every pellet coming out of the shotgun instead of just like the shotgun blast as a whole, and so it was like multiplying it exponentially, and you were just able to just destroy bosses and regular. You know, uh, monsters and guys, just super easy. So, uh, that's how I, uh, beat Borderlands. <laughs> no, because they patched it because of people complaining about it. <laughs> the guy and you can't do body. Oh my god, he's like, oh, he's, oh. Oh. he was hanging on. He was just like, I'm never gonna give you up, I'm never gonna let you down. But, see, uh, in, uh, Borderlands, is there like a, uh, a PvP mode? Yeah, yeah, you can you can fight each other. You can See, duel each other. That's what I like about Destiny. So like, um, I so I'm I'm this one character that I do campaign, and then so you know what the Crucible is? Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. and then I have this one character. All I do is the Crucible, but it's really hard because I'm going against like level like 30s and 20s with like really good loot, and there's just me with this with the starting pistol, just pew pew. Now I can't remember why, but in the first Destiny, there was a reason that you had to go and do the Crucible, it was like a challenge or something. Yeah, uh, no, it, you didn't have to, but it would, um, it would give you, it'd give you either a gamer score or a trophy, and, um... No, it wasn't that, it was, there was something, there was something that it, it was, it was giving you that, like, you could... Either unlock, you need to do to unlock something. Oh, I think that's what it was. You had to do it, win so many to unlock a special gun. Yeah, something. yeah, that's what it was. It was, I, th I think it was like a, um, you pick, it was either a grenade launcher, a sniper rifle, or a um, rocket launcher. I think it was. I don't remember, but I never really did the Crucible until then, and then, um... Have you beat Destiny? If, if there, there's no real end those games. I never did the big raids because I don't know enough people to do the big raids with. And uh, you, you know do you, them can, with... you can solo queue, right? You can do it with randoms? Yeah, well, I, I, every time I do it with randoms, uh, it was just pain. It was just super pain. It was this one mission, uh, it was like... Elite oh, Gamer! <laughs> you just shot him in the butt. I know. Because he was jumping. That's kind of mean. That's bullying. Cyberbully! Cyberbully! Oh, Jesus! That's more like physical bully. Shooting the guy in the head. You just kind of shot him point blank in the face. Yeah, that he not scared me! Actually, if you think about it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't even know that. <laughs> that guy knew what just happened, because you shot him from the groin to the face. <laughs> yeah. So it was Growing like ball up. shot, stomach, chest, face. So he felt, you know... Ball shot, stomach, chest, and then you put him out. So he had two belly buttons? Well, he probably had I, well. So I pretty much just pricked him in another room. Well, you just basically just shot him in half. <laughs> See, when I play this game, I don't really get my face. Oh my I god! Because I don't. I'm not. Actually, I was about to say, I don't like the combat. It's actually. I'm not good at it. I like the combat. I don't build the maps well enough to really. I mean, I can't, I can't do what Skillet is doing. You know, I can't. I don't think any. I could, I couldn't just sit here and mow down people. See, I could do it if it was caught. No. I could do it if it was the first type ball, and I, and it was back when I was playing it all the time. Okay, wait. What was your opinion on this? Uh, it was really fun. I felt it was a little bit broken, but it was it was it was only broken if the person was good at it. So you had to have skill. So it wasn't broken. It wasn't broken that somebody that they needed a nerf. You know Skillet I mean? remember remembers that I was like I was I was spinning circles and just start shooting it. Uh, you, know what, you know what spin bot is? So like I don't know. like a. Uh, uh, It's like, so you don't you know what aim on it, right? Yeah. So it's like that, but it's, yeah, still, it's still, it's still, your, your character starts glitching and it's sensitive like all the way up, and he's spinning, and right when you tap it, aim straight onto a person and starts shooting at it. And it's called a spin. 
One of those games that got the the, uh, the I, esports yeah. stamps stamps uh, of approval, and you have to have some kind of crazy skill to. Uh, yeah, like I see it. I see it being Very competitive, strategy. but then like just like why? Is it They're bulletproof. Yeah. Wait, why do you just carry them around and like have them soak up bullets? Oh, true. <laughs> You just tie one on your front and the back, and then it just looks like a mannequin walking around. Also, that's why I like. Oh um, yeah. That I, I, I would fool everyone. Um, in like games like Siege and Battlefield, I like the destructible. Like everything. Like, like you know, you can like, hey, there's a wall right there. Let's just hit it with the sledgehammer. Yeah. Siege. I like Siege because it's really realistic. <laughs> I like Siege because it's not good. It's it's it is to a certain extent. Like the guns, the like, guns function well. That, realistically, I don't think they're only gonna have five people. Yeah. Well, I mean, realistically, most of the time in those circumstances, you, you would just blow up the building for seven on fire. Wow, that's not. This is one question that. No one's ever, like, I've never, like, really asked people. How come the people that are, like, pretty much terrorists look, like, as military, uh, as military, like, I don't really know how to say it, like, they look like they're professionally trained. Yes! Well, by the because they probably were. I mean, you have to understand, in real life, I mean, a lot. Oh my god! That, that was. That was, that was. You just saw life. That just flat. that like that was is bigger than your body and somehow missed you for that. Like, <laughs> that's how close. That so was. everybody, I think everybody is sticky now. Oh, everybody knows. Oh, you're how sitting in that 
building killing everybody for have, how long? I have nine kills. You still, well, you had nine kills, and now every time you go to that building, they kill you because they're all surrounding that building, killing whoever is in there. Obviously, they're mad at you. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like, know why. Don't be campers. I'd be pretty like, mad if really, someone shot me. It's fun to watch the videos. Um, any like, like, hey, you're you're good at you're good at like slashing people with a sword. Use this character. Hey, you're good at sniping. Use this character. Oh, hey, you're just really good at Call of Duty. Play this character because they, yeah, they have that guy. I mean, they they made that guy. I just call him Black Ops. That's Black Ops. Uh, Battlefield. He's, he's your. Standard issue, first person issue. Oh, um, uh, uh, what is your guys' opinion on Battle Royale? Uh, overrated. Um, they they were cool when they first came out. Like uh, when it was PUBG. Well, even before PUBG, there were several games that we can't even see them now. They had this. Uh, Ark, Ark actually had a. Yeah, that. Okay, actually, I I played that on computer. It's like really fun. Like it, it, it makes art more fast-paced. Like uh. Yeah, it's forcing you to do things like now, yeah. like right now, right now. And that's what I'm saying. Like it was. Cool. Like I would not be good at that because I hate like I I can't I can't. Well, like the taming. Oh, all you have to do is you have to knock them out. Give them like one piece of meat, and they're tamed, and they come out. They come with a banner and a saddle. Yeah. Um. So. Oh yeah. They. You know. I mean. It was really cool when it first started coming out. It was like yeah, this trickle. It was yeah, it was this trickle down process. Process, and then PUBG comes out and took gaming by storm. It was one of those games that it, yeah, it changed the whole aspect of that particular style of game. Made it super popular. Everybody was playing it, <laughs> and then now you just have. This overabundance of these these battle royale games. It's, it's flooding the market. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't really even care to play them. Like, you know, they were so, cool at like, first, but now even, it's like I don't want to. Even Rainbow Six Siege is making a battle royale. Oh uh, no, they, they actually changed it. They're, they're not going to. Oh, okay. I was, honestly, I was actually looking around this app. I was wanting to see how that would But to me, so. Uh, siege uh, with battle royale? That would be tough. That would be really tough. Uh, but me, uh, like, when it first came out, it was H1Z1. Like, okay, battle royale. It sounds like a cool genre. And I'm not gonna spend 30 bucks on the game just to try out what it is. And then PUBG came out. My cousin got it on his computer. I'm like, okay, this game is really fun. And then Fortnite came out, and it was free. And I was like, okay, I'm playing this game. I'm playing this game. This, this is it. And then after like maybe a month, I was like, okay, I'm cool. Then I kept going on and off, on and off. Yeah. And then like I, so I get pretty bored about the games pretty quickly, unless you're a first person. Maybe mainly that were out. And like, okay, now I'm just doing the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, how is a game that just does the same? Well, and then, like, not even that exciting. Like, well, see, that's the, that's the thing about, uh, Fortnite, is they're constantly evolving that game. They're constantly, yeah, they're, they're constantly doing different things, which makes that intriguing, and then they have, I mean, if you watch the, uh, or, uh, Game Theorist. It makes you want more of it. You know, it gives you, they're, they're just, like, trickling down this information, they're trickling down, like, changing it, they're doing all these things. That make at least it interesting. But when, the, the main thing I don't like about the game, and yes, I have spent money on Fortnite, I have read it, um, is, <laughs> like, so the game's free. Yeah. But realistically, over they time, you're going to spend money. There are billions a month to make a million or billions. On a free-to-play like, game. Yeah, then free. also, some of that profit is Yeah, but, 
not how much. much? Not, not, yeah. not how many people play Safe Room? A lot. Yeah, actually, I but the thing, the weird thing is, like, Save the World, so you can get a thousand V bucks for one competition, but now that Battle Royale is they have a few people. They nerfed the story to get 50 V bucks for mission. Wait, really? Yeah, you used to be able to get like a thousand. And now people well, are that's, buying. Well, that's how they they're getting their. That's how they're getting people to spend real money on it. I know someone that bought an account for sixty dollars, just because it had a skin that's never coming out again. Oh, that's that's nothing. I mean, that that happens all the time with True. all kinds of other games. But what makes it even weirder is it's free. Well, yeah. I mean, that's how free games make their money, though. Yeah. They, they have to sell something. Oh, uh, Warframe. I pretty much beat the game, and I'm like, okay. Like, you can't, once, like, so, you know in games, once you get stuff, like, the beginning stuff is all you have? Yeah. That's pretty much what Warframe is, unless you spend money. Yeah, they have, they have pay, paywalls, is what they're called, yeah. 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 Paywalls, yeah. But the game, it seems really fun if you spend money, but it's not, like, I beat... Warframe seems like a ripoff of Destiny, it, but I don't know which one came out first, it, Warframe it's like, or it's Destiny, like, but... Um, it I seemed like they came out really close together, so I'm assuming they were probably in development at the same time. Destiny came out first. Warframe came out when Destiny 2, you could pre-order it. Cross, that's why Crossout is one of my favorite games right now. It is it is a unique game at the moment. It's free-to-play, yeah. and you don't have to pay money to be able to play that it's game. A, it's not Battlefront 2. <laughs> We'll just stick to that. It's not Battlefront 2. It's well, they like, fixed that. You know, EA did back down. EA did back down, yeah, and they fixed like, that. But a, before it was like you can play a Star Spader. You know, you know, whenever you want. You know, you just have to like open a loot box that you get for free from doing a mission or something. And then it's like the game actually comes out, and it's like, what if we make a game that the only way to play play a Star Spader? It's they to lied. pay five hundred dollars. What's not to love? So wait, they lied to like the people. Uh, it wasn't. They didn't miss because you could you could get it without paying money. Yeah. Your odds of getting it were so ridiculous. And you could, if you got Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader, if you got the skin to play as them at the beginning, you could only play for them as as them in game one hour. Oh, okay. So you could unlock Darth Vader and be like, yes, I can finally play as Darth Vader. And you spent all this time grinding and grinding and grinding, and you finally get it, and then you can only play for an hour. It was something like that. I don't I don't remember exactly. It, well, I don't think it was exactly an hour, but it was something Honestly, stupid like that. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad about that. I'd just be disappointed. Oh, you got lucky on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I was out of ammo. Um, what's what's your guys' opinion on No Man's Sky? I I haven't I haven't checked it out. I know that uh, there was a lot of hate. Uh, they you know they lied to their uh, like lied to people, right? Yeah, and they lied to the their uh, funders and they lied to a lot of people. Like, they lied to some. It was late. Yeah, it was late. It was. They like they were like. Yeah, this game's completely open world and all that, but it's not in. But now they've actually, so like, you know how like, in a game like that they just give up, they would just make a new game? No, they've, they fixed it. They yeah, fixed it. they've worked on it so much. I haven't, I haven't, like I said, I haven't checked it out. And that was the thing, but like, DayZ, uh, DayZ has been, uh, well, I, I think it's been, uh, what? holy cow, oh, that was your own thing. Oh, say. No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. Um, it was like, uh, it's been on Steam, um, for like six years. Almost as long as, um... But they haven't changed anything, they haven't fixed anything. The, the only thing that I know they fixed is, uh, cars. So like, you know in video games, like, let's say there's a There's a car in that game? Yeah, there's a bunch of cars. There's a car? I can't, I couldn't even find a, a candy bar snack, I couldn't even find a moldy piece of bread. I mean, a bottle of water, forget it. It's a freaking rainstorm and you can't drink the rain. I mean, let's not get me going on that game again. I'm going to start cussing uh, pretty bad. I, I'm, really... I'm a Christian channel. Um, so, 
You're no cussing allowed, so how about that? No. Anyway, so let's just not talk watch about you, that game. Watch your profane. Uh, but it, other than the fact that it was broken on the PC, they never fixed it. Then they, re then they released it on the Xbox. Luckily. And it's been six years, and it's still broken, and they want people to pay, still pay money for it. I don't... Oh. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. One game that both of me and the made that I love, uh, have you heard of the mobile game Mini Daisy? No. It's like Daisy, but it's at like the League of Legends, like the perspective. It's, okay. a, si it's a single player pixel survival. Like you have to eat all that, but like you know, you can, like you said, you can actually buy things. And Glitchy, I, I mean, everything was compelling. I don't understand. Okay, okay so we're we, okay. So we have to discuss it all. Daisy. Okay, every door is open. The only thing that you can find is some moldy shirts and some pants and some running shoes that apparently you can't put on because <laughs> the, the the they might have been destroyed. Oh, the, oh, the game. It's it is pouring down rain, it lets you know you're soaking wet, but you, you're dying of thirst. I don't know about you, I see an obvious but if I was dying of thirst, I would drink the rainwater. I would suck the water out of my jacket. I would do so many things to not die of thirst. And I don't know about you guys, but I would not die of thirst in 35 minutes. Yeah, so that's one of the Okay, you're, you're, you you spawned it. Oh, you're already hungry. Dude, you're already hungry. You're just... you, have to, you have to get something to drink already. You know, after you. Well, I. Okay, have you, you haven't played. Uh... Did you play the first state of the game? Yes. Did you have you played the second? Game? Okay. Um. You don't have like hunger and thirst meter, but you have exhaustion and you can be burnt to where your health will not regenerate anymore, like all the way to max, and then you have to let that, that character rest. Those, okay, State of Decay 1, hands down, is my favorite survival zombie game. State of Decay 2, love it, but it was broken, they have fixed some stuff. Have you done a video on that? State of Decay 2? Yeah. Uh, no, but I, I can if you would like. Um, I, I love that game. Uh, maybe I can get six or uh, skillets over here, or you know, do a, a multiplayer, you know, video of it because they fixed the multiplayer before the multiplayer was so broken. But they fixed it. But Day Z has been six years of broken garbage. Broken garbage. Six years. At least No Man's Sky has done something. No Man's Sky, they fixed it. Yeah. They, it is completely oh my different. God, get out of my way. As far as everything that I've read, it's easy. Please gonna shoot me with that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you gonna rip the chat? Wait, you might get the assist. You might get the assist. No. Oh my god, and he's gonna sit there and wait for the nuclear ejection. <gasps> what wow. an idiot. What an idiot! Hey, hey, friend! So you get fun? The game's mainly like, the is more like, the first type of game I ever liked is first person shooters. PvP, first person shooter games. But I started to like, uh, like, um, like RPGs and all that because. I'm a huge, I love RPGs. I love story driven games. I love. I like. I like open world story games, like like Skyrim, you can like, okay, you're gonna do this mission, but you need some more stuff, so you're gonna go to this village, and you're gonna kill everybody, you're gonna steal all their stuff, <laughs> and now you're gonna find it. Okay, well, okay, well, so, that's a, maybe so that's the Elder Scrolls, plays Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls, but... the Elder Scrolls are, they are on a league of their own, there are other series of games tried to do the same thing that Elder Scrolls has done, but Elder Scrolls, League of Their Own, oh, 
once they took over Fallout, I was really hoping that that was going to be the case uh, with the Fallout games. They've kind of fallen flat. Wait, what was first? Elder Scrolls or Fallout? Well, Fallout wasn't, uh, they didn't own Fallout. Fallout was uh, originally Wasteland. Oh my, what? I remember, uh, like, this Japanese company, they made uh, Fallout Online, but it wasn't by Bethesda, it was they owned it. They, but Bethesda didn't like it, so they sued them, and it got taken down, but everyone loved Fallout Online. I have never heard of that. I've never heard of that. It's like 30 years old. It's. I if it was 30 years old, then there would not have been a... It was, well, it wasn't super popular, but people, like, they still liked it. Um, but, I was about to say, one thing, I don't... Well, I played, I played Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, I never played Wasteland, but there is a Wasteland 2. I do believe I have it on the Xbox, and it is just like Fallout 1 and 2. I think I've, wait... It's the top-down... I've heard of um, it. ...action... Yeah. Story, side quest. It, it's a really good game. I I had high hopes. You don't want to be up there. You will get shot up there. I, exactly. I love to shoot people up there. Um, and, uh, well, the reason I came up here was to was to shoot the person that was shooting me up here. See, oh, the one thing I don't like about like Fallout 3, like love the game. I think it's like and Fallout New Vegas as goes for both of them. I think Fallout New Vegas was better than Fallout. But the one thing I didn't like, so when I played Fallout 4 and Skyrim, I like to loot things I'm not really supposed to loot. Like, I don't have to loot them, but I just like, I love the feeling that, you know, I found something that not everyone's found or has. But in Fallout 3, like, you search a house and there's actually the rooms are just empty. Well, Fallout 4 fell flat for me. Because even Fallout 3, yeah, it, it had those issues that you're talking about. But oh, there were these there were these crazy the side quests. Suck on my balls. Wow. <laughs> wow. And you that said you're just Christian. Happened. That just oh happened. yeah, nice so. Christian channel right here. Nice. So anyway. 100 percent Christian. Uh being nice. Christian has nothing to do with being clean, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's drop let, that. Let your, let your drop kids that. watch me. Uh, drop that. Family friendly. Yeah, just say family. Uh, I'm so family friendly. I mean, look at me. So family friendly. Frick! Who the frick is shooting me? Ah. Anyway. Die! Ah, so, yeah, like there I were said. all, there were all yeah. these story missions that weren't even missions. Yeah. I there was no that. mission for it. You just found these little quirky little stories and you could play it out. And it was just these cool little neat little things that were just, they were all over the map. They were all, and it was just, it was like seamless. It was just kind of getting the world. And that was in Fallout 3, both 1, 2, 3, New Vegas. They all captured that same, that same kind of feel. And then you get Fallout 4 and it was huge, but there was just so much wasted space in between everything that you did. There was so much stuff, but it was all disconnected. It just kind of felt natural to me. Like, it was it feel... It's supposed to be there. It didn't feel part of the book. But like, it, just, it just kind of felt like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this here just because. Like, it didn't, it didn't feel thought out. It didn't feel organic. How I got my, uh, 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 how I got and he had like a sh I think he had like a shotgun. So every time I just like put right next oh to him, he just shoot me in the head. No! So I learned to just like oh, jump me. and hide me in the box. But it like that actually took me now. Just to get that. But see that's that's why I like the like, That's why I like to get it 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 get it
get a gun and then kill zombies. Yeah, I'm, I like Bethesda. I like the games that they make. I have, I felt really disappointed in Fallout 4, I but I, I am I am I am excited for uh, Vault 76. I am trying to not get too excited and be a fanboy yeah. and. Oh my god, it's gonna be awesome and then be disappointed. So don't, don't, be, to... don't be one of those YouTubers. Don't be, uh, don't be, uh, what is this? Uh, Sammy Classic Sonic fan. You're the only one that can do that. Yeah. Just saying, guys. Um, but, Fox 76, did they ever say if it's, if it's gonna be PC? Like, it is, it is. It's PvP, PvE. No, when you kill somebody, from what they were saying, when you kill somebody, you can't loot their body. You do kill them, and then they have to respawn. They don't lose anything, and I don't really know. You don't gain anything, but you, uh, other than a, uh, a wanted level, and then once your wanted level gets so high, then. Uh, People get basically there's a bounty out on you, and people um, can come and kill you. Yeah, there's two. People, people would get something for killing you. So yeah. If you get right up next to the building, you can get like this. on that okay i think we're gonna we're gonna end this video yeah how long has this been well this has been gaming with pants i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you later